They're off in the Arlington Classic. Southern Africa bobbled at the start, and Guillaume Tell was affected by that. United out to the front, along with Purim showing speed. On the outside here is Ready Ruler. Southern Africa now trying to settle into that fourth position from hole in the head, and Guillaume Tell is a bit rank. Guillaume Tell coming up outside the quarters of Southern Africa as they make their way into the first turn. Major League and Gold Minister is last. Around the first turn, early fires now. Flying solo with United. United opens up here on Purim by two and a half lengths. Ready Ruler is third. Hole in the head at the rail. Guillaume Tell and Sean Bridgerahan trying to get that to settle down. Southern Africa between horses. Then farther back is Cosmic Chris leading Major League and Gold Minister in ninth. The opening quarter, 23 and two. They race up the back stretch. It's United at these long odds. United in front of Purim with four furlongs to go on the Arlington Classic. On the outside is Guillaume Tell in the clear third. Hole in the head, probing up the paint. Southern Africa is one off the fence. Ready Ruler, five from United. Three more to Cosmic Chris, then Gold Minister being driven, and finally Major League. Half mile, 47 and three. They round the far turn. They're aiming for United. United carries the dogwood colors past the quarter pole. Purim within a length. Hole in the head at the rail. Guillaume Tell, red cap between horses. Ready Ruler, Cosmic Chris switched out. Then farther back is Southern Africa. They're coming down to the final furlong. It's United and Purim. Purim now strikes the front. United has gone back to second. Hole in the head third. Down the middle of the course is Cosmic Chris. Guillaume Tell is last. They're coming down to the wire. Mark Guidry and Purim in the Arlington Classic by three. And they're off. Away and running in perfect order above the wind. Breaks for the lead. And there goes Maureen's victory. Now moving up. High time. Scott is up on the outside. Sir Shackleton is away with a top flight in the last horse away. Dazzling Dr. Stephen. They move out of the seven furlong. Shooting on to the main track. Above the wind. And Federico Mata, the leader, three parts of a length. Maureen's victory. Won't let him get away and moves through now second. Those two flying up front and they clear off by about seven. High time Scott on the outside now racing along third. Back to the inside. Purim is now fourth. Sir Shackleton racing along fifth. A length and a half farther back. Nighttime affair on the outside. Then we go back to Bassandra, the Minnesota bred toward the rail. Two lengths farther back to the late running attack the books. And still nothing from dazzling Dr. Seven. Midway in the turn. There he goes above the wind and Mata have the lead by a length and a half. Marines victory coming under ride and going after the lead second. Three lengths farther back. The classy Sir Shackleton is now unwinding as they turn into the stretch. Locally based above the win, the leader in Marines victory is driving back Gamely now to challenge second, and Sir Shackleton is down the center of the track. Four across the track in deep stretch. Sir Shackleton now driving to the lead. Above the wind is second and down along the inner rail. Nighttime affair in Purim, but down to the wire. Sir Shackleton to take it. Purim second, above the wind with another game effort third. And they're off in the Razorback Breeders' Cup handicap. A quick start from the inside by Prince T and Purim. There goes Rockport Harbor up on the outside. Between horses, Chippewa Trail is right there in fourth. It's four lengths back to Arch Hall. Another two to greater good. To his inside is Thunder Mission and trailing in the early going, it's real dandy. But there goes Rocky to the lead by two. Chippewa Trail moving up outside of Purim. Then at the rail, that is Prince T in fourth after an opening quarter in 23 and two. It's five lengths back to Arch Hall in fifth. Thunder Mission is sixth, followed by real dandy and greater good. Rockport Harbor and Stuart Elliott leading this one by two lengths. Purim is second. Chippewa Trail right outside in third by about four. Prince T is still fourth. Archall running fifth and Thunder Mission. Well back, our greater good and real dandy as they continue down the backstretch. And they're rolling along here now. 46 and four for the half. And the leader is Rockport Harbor. Chippewa Trail wants to put the pressure on in second. Purim is two lengths back in third. It's five lengths further back to Arch Hall to the outside of Prince T as they move to the final turn. Rockport Harbor and Chippewa Trail are now heads apart. Purim in striking position third. To the outside, Arch Hall has now moved to fourth. Past three quarters, one ten and four. Here they come into the stretch of the Razorback Breeders' Cup Handicap. Along the rail, it's Rockport Harbor in the middle, Chippewa Trail, but there goes Purim now. And Purim makes a big move. And to the outside, here comes Arch Hall with his move. It is Purim who has shot to the lead by two and a half. Arch Hall running second. Rockport Harbor still third, followed by Sunder Mission. The leader is Purim. Here's Arch Hall to the outside trying to come get him, but it is Purim leading it by two. They come for the wire, and Purim's gonna win the Razorback Breeders' Cup handicap by two lengths. 
Arch Hall second, Thunder Mission was third, Greater Good fourth, and Rockport Harbor ran fifth. And they're off in the Colonel E.R. Bradley handicap. Four on breaks well, along with that gray Fort Prado. Raw power showing pace, along with Gigawatt. Northern scene in the orange and Zetetic from that high draw as they come past the stands. And it's Gigawatt going out to the front from Porum. Roar power, then Northern scene at the rail. Fort Prado was settled fifth. On the outside, Cloudy's Night now ranging up as they go toward the first turn with Zetetic. Arbuckle banded in a tight spot with Storm Treasure. Estevan out deep as they round the first turn. And on top, it is Gigawatt going to the front now from Porum. Northern scene is near the gallop running in third. And Cloudy's Night is a settled fourth. Fort Prado stays parked at the paint outside that raw power. Zetetic in a real crowd. Farther back as Stavon Storm Treasure. Oh, and Arbuckle Bandit's gone down. Arbuckle Bandit has gone down. Jockey Carlos Marquez Jr. did bounce up after that incident. Farther back in the field, a ground-saving Storm Treasure along with that millionaire mystery giver. And Desert Wheat is last of now 11. A faller was Arbuckle Bandit, half mile and 48 and 2. The balance going toward the far turn now. And it's Gigawatt just in front of Porum. Northern scene within range. Fort Prado is down there at the rail close up. Fort Prado, three from those leaders. Cloudy's Night driven wide both turns. Zetetic threading through. Down at the rail, Raw Power, Estevan, Storm Treasure, Mystery Giver. Deserweet is last as they come off the home turn for this long run in. Three quarters, one, 12, and three. In the final furlong and a half. Porum tackled now by Fort Prado. Zetetic up the inside, Raw Power. Northern scene is there. Cloudy's Night, Estevan. Mystery Giver on the stand side. Fort Prado just in front, battling his Porum up to the line. Fort Prado down inside is Porum. They come down toward the wire. Porum and Fort Prado. Porum perhaps. Porum, Fort Prado close, and it's tight for third two. And they are at the post. And they are off in the Shadwell Mile. Spots gone broke alertly, but so did T.D. Vance. And T.D. Vance is very quick away from the starting gate down toward the inside and has the lead from Spots gone, who goes second up on the outside, heading to the first turn. Astronomer Royal quickly moves toward the rail in third. Cosmodot on his outside is in fourth. Porum is fifth down toward the inside for a ground-saving trip. Independent George between horses six. Shaquis stacks up three wide. Midway on the first turn, now double wide in seventh. Art Master is eighth. Istan is ninth last 23 and 3 the time for the opening quarter spots gone moves up for early fires and leads it now by a length up the back stretch there goes cosmonaut to challenge td vance for second at the midpoint of the back stretch as they head for the far turn astronomer royal is in fourth he's three and a half lengths off the lead flanked by independent george pour him behind that pair joined by shock keys and then art master and iston is last the half in 47 seconds flat. Spots gone against the rail, leading Cosmonaut by a length of the far turn. Here comes Astronomer Royal. Independent George moves on his outside. Astronomer Royal is third, a length off the lead. Independent George joins him, but Cosmonaut is the new leader by a neck. Spots gone is second, then Astronomer Royal. Independent George in the center of the course. TD Vance has gotten the shuffle to fifth. Art Master then shot Keese and Iston coming to the eighth pole. Cosmonaut the leader by two and a half lengths. Independent George then Porum, and Porum is unleashing a rally at the eighth pole. Cosmonaut has the lead. Porum's trying to track him down. Final furlong of the Shadwell Mile. Cosmonaut on the inside. Porum on the outside. A driving finish. Cosmonaut and Porum. Porum gets up to take it by a head for Jamie Terrio. One minute, 35 and two-fifth seconds. A 20-to-one upset.